Let's look at cylinder blocks. The cylinder block is the largest part of the engine. Its upper section carries the cylinders and pistons. Normally, the lower section forms the crankcase and supports the crankshaft. It can be cast in one piece from grey iron. Or it can be alloyed with other metals like nickel or chromium. The iron casting process begins by making up the shapes of what will become water jackets and cylinders as sand cores, which are fitted into moulds. This stops these parts becoming solid iron during casting. Molten iron is poured into sand moulds that are formed by patterns in the shape of the block. After casting, core sand is removed through holes in the sides and ends, leaving spaces for the cooling and lubricant passages. These holes are sealed with core or Welsh plugs. The casting is then machined. Cylinders are bored and finished, surfaces smoothed, holes drilled and threads cut. All cylinder blocks are made with ribs, webs and fillets to provide rigidity but also to keep weight to a minimum. As more manufacturers try to make vehicles lighter and more fuel efficient, more and more engine blocks are being cast from aluminium. A block made of aluminium alloy is lighter than if it were made of cast iron. So if two engines are generating the same power, the alloy version would have a better weight to power ratio than the cast iron version. Aluminium alloy blocks are made by various casting processes, including pressure casting. Another method is gravity casting, where the molten metal is poured into moulds. Cast iron liners are usually used in the cylinders of aluminium blocks and sometimes in cast iron blocks. Some sleeves are cast into the block. Grooves on the outside form a key that stops any movement in the cylinder. They also increase the surface area to assist heat transfer from the sleeve to the block. Some blocks don't need liners. They can be made of wear resistant material that makes a hard wearing surface for the pistons and piston rings. Or the cylinder bore may have some sort of surface treatment to make it hard wearing. When the cylinders, block and crankcase are all cast together, it's called a monoblock construction. This is called a horizontally opposed block. It has a split crankcase. The two engine blocks are joined together by the flanges of the crankcase. In air-cooled engines, the cylinders are usually made as separate parts, then bolted to the same crankcase. Each cylinder has cooling fins. They're often machined to give uniform thickness and allow free flow of air. 